moving on on the procedure on how to determine absolute configuration of R and S, we now go to rule number three, if you like, or step number three. And step number three is to look at if there are isotopes, for example, hydrogen and deuterium. So if there are isotopes, only if this is applicable, of course, yeah, if there are isotopes, then the isotope with the higher atomic mass should be given higher priorities. Of course, hydrogen and deuterium are of the same atomic number, so we cannot discriminate be between them in that. So if there are isotopes, then the one or the isotope of the higher atomic mass should be given um, priority. So I, if, if we have isotopes, then higher atomic mass should be given higher priority for so for example deuterium is of hi higher uh, uh, priority than 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 hydrogen that's because deuterium is of a higher um, atomic mass so here we look at the atomic mass rather than the atomic number because the atomic numbers of course are the same now rule number three is to look at multiple bonds So multiple bonds are actually viewed as single bonds. If there is a double bond, it's like there are two single bonds. We, should, we will write, of course, details. So multiple bonds are viewed as, as single bonds. Now, if we take a carbon-carbon, something like this, a carbon-carbon, um, double bond a vinyl group for example something like that so this is basically this can be interpreted like this so that's carbon that carbon is this carbon of course it, this carbon has a bond with hydrogen so there is this hydrogen this carbon has a double bond with the other carbon so it has we can break it up if you like into two single bonds like that so this carbon has a double bond with that carbon, so it's like it has two single bonds with, 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 the, with the other carbon. So CC and CC for the carbon-carbon double bond. Now this carbon has a double bond with that carbon. Yeah. So again, it should, it's like it has two single bonds with this carbon. So this carbon has two single bonds with this carbon. If we assume that this carbon is that carbon, so this one is that one, then this should have two single bonds with the, with the first carbon. So, so that's, that's one of the uh, bonds, and this is the other one. So CC, CC, and CC. So again, this carbon has a double bond with that carbon, so CC, CC, that one and that one, two single bonds. With respect, or as far, or from the point um, of view of this carbon, this carbon has a double bond with that carbon, therefore it should have single bonds, Therefore, or this can be viewed as single bonds, so CC and CC. Now, this carbon itself has two bonds with hydrogen, so we should not, of course, ignore that. So that's hydrogen and that's hydrogen. So this is how this is detailed, if you like, in bonding. Um, whenever a group like this is encountered in this, in this task of assignment of priorities based on atomic number. If we take a carbon-carbon triple bond, something like that. So this, we can actually write this in details in the same um, way as we did before. So something like this. So that carbon, of course, this carbon has a triple bond with that carbon. So therefore, we should write three single bonds. Yeah. So CC, CC, and CC. So it's like we have broken it up into three single bonds because this is a triple bond now. This carbon-carbon triple bond can be broken up into three single bonds. Um, just following this guideline is that multiple bonds should be viewed as, as single bonds. Now this carbon can be any of these. So if we choose this carbon to be that carbon, so something like this, if we label it, that carbon is that carbon. From the uh, point of view of this carbon, it has a triple bond with this carbon. So therefore, three single bonds with, with the other carbon. That's one of them already. This is a second and that's a third. 
So again, this carbon, which is that carbon, has a triple bond with this carbon. Therefore, it's like it has three single bonds. That's one, two, three. This carbon labeled with a dot itself has another bond with, with hydrogen. So this is how, how these groups are or how these multiple bonds are um, uh, detailed, if you like, or they, that's how they should be viewed or, or interpreted, if you like, if, if um, um, priorities um, should be considered or should be given to groups in an attempt to assign absolute configuration of RNS. We will take, of course, more examples of multiple bonds in the coming lecture.